Hello everyone, this is Raji. In this video, let us learn about DAX group by function. So the group by function is similar to the summarize function. However, group by does not do an implicit calculate for any expression columns that it adds. So group by function permits a new function current group to be used inside aggregation functions in the extension columns then it, and then it adds. So group by is used to perform multiple aggregations in a single table. So mainly it has four parameters like table, any dash expression that returns a table of data, group by column name, the name of an existing column in the table by which the data is to be grouped. This parameter cannot be an expression. Next parameter name, the name give, given to a new column that is being added to the list of group by columns and closed in double quotes. Next expression. Next the written value is a table with the selected columns for the group by column name arguments and the extension columns designated by the name arguments. So let us see about this group by function using practical example. Go to get data excel workbook. Let me search for the folder. Open the file. Load all the tables. Calendar table, products table, region table and sales data table. So let us see the data in the data view. This is the calendar products. So we have mismatches in columns. We have to fix this in region table also. So first let us open the transform data option to open the power query editor. And let us fix the column headers. Use first row as header. Use first row as header. Close and apply. So the changes being updated. Now let us go to the model view to check the relationship. If not any relationship not connected, let us connect them. Here, let us connect the sales data with calendar sales data. So, all the relationships are there. Now, let us use the DAX function to create the group by based on geographic region. Sales per product by geographic region. Here, Create new table. First we have to create one measure. Sorry I forgot. Right click create new measure. Total sales equal to. Equal to sum of. Sales data, sales, click enter, our new measure is created now, now create a new table, name this as sale per product. by geography let us write the formula 
group by sales data first sale table name next from products table product table product name comma from region table geographic region comma name of the column sales data comma call the function sum x current group current group comma sales data sales close the bracket click enter so now you can get the sales data per geographic region based on this product names so in group by we have used the columns products product from products table product name and from uh, region table geographic region so we got the required result so this is how you use the group by function in power bi so this is all about today's video. Thank you.